What up, y'all? It's your man Melvin Taylor Jr. Back at y'all with another reaction video. This one right here, Fahrenheit 451, the official teaser featuring Michael B. Jordan and Michael Shannon. Shout out to HBO. I've uh, I only heard about Fahrenheit 451. Like I've seen the book cover, but I've never actually read it, or uh, nor was it anything that I had to like read um, in. Let me put this on Do Not Disturb. Or it wasn't anything that I had to read in school or anything like that. But um, it looked like one of those books that I was like, I'm sure if I read it, it would be interesting, but I just don't feel like it right now. But shout out to HBO for making it into a uh, show slash movie. So now I get to see it with my man Michael B.J. in it. All right. So and shout out to Michael Shannon, too. I just realized like, a couple weeks ago that that was him and uh, Bad Boys 2. So, um, man, let's just go ahead and jump into it. See what we think. Let's do it. Turn the volume up. Have you ever seen a physical book before? Do you want to know what's inside? Insanity. Chaos. By the time you guys grow up, there won't be one book left. Yes, sir! Little knowledge is a dangerous thing. News, facts, memoirs, internetable, yeah. burn it. We are not born equal, so we must be made equal by the fire. I want to burn. Okay. Let's go, May. Shout out to the birthday month. All right, so, um, yo, that was Homegirl from uh, Kingsman, and she was also the evil girl in The Mummy. She looked like she gonna be the love interest slash do a homie gotta deal with. Yo, is this Chicago on the low? Like, I'm trying to figure out. I don't think this is, you know, shout out to Home, but, oh, no, nah, that's, that don't, that look a little too big to be Chicago, and that scene right there look like New York City where they do the say something with the eagle. Man, it looked kinda dope. I think it's very interesting to see like what is it like in the future when everything is then going to be dictated by, I'm assuming, I don't know again, everything's going to be dictated by certain people and it's like everything else is out there. We don't want you to even know about it because we don't want you um, to be able to think about what you could do to, to relieve us of our duties. You know, and I feel like Michael Shannon is a part of that aspect of it while Michael B is like, yeah. I want to do that and then have something where he has to come to grips with the fact that maybe this ain't the right way to go. Maybe there are things in these books that I can actually use. Again, I have no idea. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know anything about this book. Uh, but man, this looks pretty cool. And shout out to the fact that it's coming out in May because I'm going to be able to see the new Avengers movie. I'm going to see this. There are two other things in May. I think Deadpool comes out in May and then there's something else as well that comes out that I'm forgetting right now that I'm excited for when it comes out. But man, this looks cool. Shout out to Michael B. Jordan because he killed it as Killmonger, best MCU villain of all time. And um, I'm excited for my homie's rise because I also know that he is filming Rocky, or excuse me, Creed 2 right now. So let me know what y'all think down below, man. Remember, it's your man, Melvin Taylor Jr. Thank y'all so much for tuning into the video. Do Have any of y'all ever read this book? Um, how do you think Michael B. and uh, Michael Shannon's characters are going to be? In this, how you think Homegirl gonna do in it? Uh, do you think this is gonna be something that people will want to see? Let me know down below, man. Thank you so much. Stay blessed, stay favored, always stay tailored. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.